What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon VGC video. Today we're going to be discussing Enamorous. It's been like two, three weeks since Pokemon Legends Arceus came out, so I feel comfortable now, you know, making a video about this Pokemon. Not much of a spoiler when, you know, Game Freak has released the official art for it, which means, you know, thumbnail's going to go hard today. Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk about what I think it's going to be like in future competitive formats. Obviously, you know, we can't play VGC or any kind of competitive format uh, in Pokemon Legends Arceus. However, we're looking forward to future formats, whether it be uh, through an update of Sword and Shield or most likely Generation 9, where Enamorous becomes uh, competitively available. So yeah, uh, if you enjoy this same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comic question of the day. What do you think about Enamorous from a competitive standpoint and also a design standpoint? I feel like I'm on the like absolute opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to people's opinion on Enamorous. I think it is the coolest looking genie like, even the Therian form, I love it. Anyways, we'll, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So, Enamorous is a fairy and flying type. A typing that isn't terribly common. I believe it's literally just Togekiss. I might be wrong. I always, you know, I'm always wrong about these sort of things. Yeah, it's just Togekiss, the Togekiss line. Uh, so, yeah. So, Enamorous has some pretty interesting stats. Uh, as a fairy and flying type, um, you know, we're typically used to Tokus, which is a bulky, strong special attacker. Uh, but this thing is a bit frailer, much faster, and I believe hits harder. What's Tokus' base special attack again? Sorry, I have to look this thing up twice. It is 120. So, this thing hits significantly harder with 15 more points in its special attack. And that 106 speed tier is unfortunate compared to other genies. However, in the greater scheme of things, it isn't that bad. It's speed tying with things like Liopard, and it's outspeeding all the base 100s. So if it's above 100, it's got a good speed tier, in my opinion. Makes for a good choice scarf user, makes for a good choice specs user, uh, and yeah. So obviously we're looking at this from a doubles perspective. In doubles, we have to take into account things that you wouldn't usually see in singles, at least not as often. Things like Fake Out, but most notably things like Intimidate. Now this thing has the ability contrary, where other genies, you know, the other, you know, two main genies have Prankster and Defiant uh, as their two abilities, and Landorus has Sheer Force and Sand Force. Enamorous has completely, you know, just unique things. It has Healer, which you would think would be the ideal um, ability for competitive in doubles, since you know it heals your partner. Uh, but it's it's typically considered one of the worst abilities ever. <laughs> Contrary is much better. Uh, with Intimidate being so common, with things like Incinera running around, you're going to be intimidated on this thing quite often. You're going to be icy winded. You're going to be electro webbed. There's a lot of like stat reducing moves that come out super, super often. And because this thing is contrary, it does the exact opposite. Intimidate raises its attack. Uh, icy wind raises its speed. Spirit break raises its special attack. You know, those sort of things are things that you see quite often in, in a competitive format. I think that there are a couple of good sets you could run on this thing. As far as like a special attacking Enamorous goes, I think Assault Vest could be fine. You know, Assault Vest is, you know, what you would run if you want like maximum coverage. Uh, but obviously, if you want to hit hard, you can just go ahead and, you know, we're not certain it's going to get Earth Power, to be honest. Earth Power is, it's a move that's available to it in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but I don't know if that's going to stay. Strictly because all the other genies, whatever their like element is, you know, electric, pure flying, uh, even ground. They're like the only ones in their family with access to that type of coverage. With the exception of flying, um, Landorus and Thunderous, the only flying moves they get is fly, where Tornadus gets like a ton of flying moves. I think that Enamorous is probably going to lose Earth Power, but I wouldn't be surprised if it kept it. Uh, with that being the case, you know, obviously you would want to run Earth Power over Sludge Bomb and you would run like Protect on this thing and probably just a Life Orb. And at that point, you have one of the most devastating special attackers in the game. High speed stat, high special attack stat, the ability to just hit things with a stab Moonblast coming off of 135 special attack uh, with a life orb is going to be chunking pretty much everything. Like, it's going to be devastating. Snarl is not counterplay to this thing since it only boosts its special attack. And yeah, uh, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff you can run with this guy. Uh, or girl, actually. This is a female genie. If you don't like it, you're sexist. I'm kidding. Uh, but... Yeah, uh, I, I love Enamorous so much. Uh, I think it's going to be really powerful, but what I'm mostly excited for is the physical set. Uh, we'll get into the Therian set in a second, but as far as physical sets go, I think once again, you're going to want, you know, you're going to want to run the Life Orb, if not a Lumberry, to prevent burn. And the thing about the genies is that every single genie has access to superpower. I would not be surprised if this thing also got superpower. And superpower with Contrary 
is probably going to be one of the most disgusting things we could see in this format. It's very rare we have good contrary Pokemon with superpower. If we actually take a look at the history of that, superpower, contrary. I know Spinda's on this list. I know Malamar's on this list and Lorantis is on this list. Lorantis is the closest we got to a super, super viable contrary Pokemon. I know it was ran in VGC 2017 and 2018 for that purpose, uh, but mostly it was like a niche pick on Trick Room teams. This thing is just going to be consistently viable due to the fact that unlike Lorantis, it's a high speed Pokemon, so it doesn't require Trick Room and it's not weak to Incineroar. Uh, this thing is going to be able to take an Intimidate, get up to plus one, and then start hitting things with Superpower, which instead of lowering its attack and, and defense, will actually raise its attack and defense, make it even bulkier. Obviously, you know, if you want a Calc to live certain things at plus one, you can reduce that speed a bit, reduce the attack a bit, and, you know, even. You can actually make this thing super bulky if you're running Superpower. Like, you can Calc to KO things at plus one. Let's say hypothetically, oh, I only need 84 attack to KO Incineroar at plus one superpower, all of a sudden, you know, you free up so much of your EV investment to go into bulk, you know, build it however you want to live certain hits, and then this thing becomes a monster. Uh, just, you know, it's unpredictable to know what set it's going to run in that case, you know, with EVs. Uh, but yeah, uh, as far as that goes, I think superpower is ideal. Play rough is definitely going to be really good. I don't know about fly and you know obviously if it's available in a dynamax format you're going to want to you're going to want to run fly um but as far as like that other move there are a lot of physical moves it could run uh we're going to look at the other genies to you know get an idea as to what physical moves it could run if it doesn't get you know to use this in the dynamax format you're not going to run you're not going to run fly because fly is just like a bad move in general uh u-turn could be pretty good I, you know, most of the genies get U-turn, so you could even, like, choice ban this thing with U-turn if you really wanted to. Uh, it, genies tend to get dark moves. I think dark could be a decent coverage for this thing. Um, crunch is likely going to be a thing that it gets. I'm pretty sure every single genie gets crunch, except for this guy. This guy's, like, an anomaly. But you get crunch for some reason. You guys like to nom on things. Uh, Enamorous is probably going to get crunch. I don't know. That final move, if it's Dynamax, run fly. If it's not Dynamax run whatever like decent coverage move you can manage to fit on this thing the therian form is really interesting this is like a completely novel concept for us in vgc <coughs> uh excuse me so this thing you know when it switches up forms uh it keeps its special attack stat 135 insane under trick room because, you know, it's, it's Trick Room. You're going to hit things that don't want to get hit. Uh, stack attack -a sort of things, you know, a big stack attack -a vibe there. But also, you're now eating hits. You keep that base 74 HP, but your speed gets redistributed into your defenses, making this thing super bulky. I think Assault Vest is the ideal item for this Pokemon, because you're going to be able to tank pretty much everything. Um, but on top of that, the ability Overcoat means that under Trick Room, you know, every, every Trick Room Pokemon's worst nightmare, this thing absolutely useless in front of you because of the you know the the availability of pollen puff on this thing it's very rare to see a poison move run on amoongus which means you most likely hard wall amoongus and probably beat it with mystical fire you can't be redirected you can't be put to sleep with spore and it just hits so many different things with the coverage moves that it's going to get if it gets earth power yeah assault vest and amorous gonna go crazy as far as like a team i could see being ran around an amorous um, we're just gonna like take a look at, you know, what a Trick Room team would look like. Obviously, uh, Amoongus, and I'm gonna look at this from like a, a no restricted format. So, I think Stack Attacka would be really good next to an Amorous, along with Amoongus. Probably gonna want to run an Incineroar, you know, uh, Tapu, not Tapu Finny, maybe, maybe Tapu Finny, but you know, you already have like a, a Fairy type there. Uh, oh my god, the, the Enamorous Stack Attacka synergy is actually crazy now that I look at it. Like, a stack attack obviously doesn't like ground type Pokemon. Anamorous just like switches in on those, hard walls them because, you know, flying type. But also, stack attack hates getting intimidated. So you can lead off Anamorous and stack attack and just go for your trick room. And because, you know, Anamorous has the built in safety goggles, you could run, you could run uh, safety goggles on your stack attack. And now you have two things that beat Amoongus. I, I'm a big Amoongus hater. I don't like Amoongus that much. So this Pokemon is like, you know, this is my dream come true. Uh, but yeah, I mean like Incinera, Amoonga, Stagataga, water types, as far as water types go, there are quite a few good water type Trick Room Pokemon. You don't even need to run like a, you know, a slow Trick Room Pokemon, you could just run like a generally decent Pokemon. I guess Milotic would be kind of good there. And then for your like last Pokemon, you know, whatever fits the role, you know, you got Water, Fire, Grass, you got Fairy, Dragon, 
Uh, or you got Fairy Steel, you might as well run like a Dragon type. Let's just go with Garchomp for the sake of argument and chorus energy. So, you know, let's Garchomp. That's a scary team. That's a scary team. One of your best Pokemon is a Trick Room Pokemon, and it, it just eats hits, and it can't be status as far as like, you know, powder moves go, and it can't be redirected. This thing is going to be insane and competitive, and I think it's going to be really, really good. I think it's going to be really, really annoying, and I think your best bet for beating it, if it doesn't get Earth Power, is probably going to be Stack Attacka. So yeah, uh, it, and also we're pretty sure it's going to keep Mystical Fire due to the fact that most fairies get Mystical Fire. So while Ferrothorn might seem like a good way of beating it, probably not. Um, you know, Steels in general are going to be okay if it doesn't get Earth Power. I genuinely hope it doesn't, kind of, like, now that I think about it, I really hope it doesn't. Celesteela could be good for beating it, but yeah, like there's there's quite a few things you could do to make sure this thing doesn't annihilate your team, but um, I think it could be on par with Landris as far as competitive viability. And actually, I mean, just it's on par with every other genie. All the genies are like equally good in this current format, but uh, I'm hoping for non-Dynamax when this thing comes out so we don't have to deal with contrary, you know, max airstream. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Enamorous in the comment section down below. I absolutely love it. I know you guys might not like it, but I'm, I'm a big fan of it from a competitive design standpoint. And as well as just, you know, design. I think it's the most colorful of the genies. And I really love the turtle thing or the platypus or whatever this thing is. Anyways, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, check out the Discord, check out my Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.